Etiologies of dumping syndrome classified on surgical and non-surgical. Non-surgical etiologies of dumping syndrome include diabetes mellitus, viral illness, and idiopathic cause. Clinically, a long-standing diabetes mellitus is associated with gastroparesis, but recent onset of diabetes mellitus, particularly type 2 diabetes mellitus, can be associated with rapid gastric emptying that occurs due to a peripheral neuropathy that called valerian degeneration, and also due to early neurous vagus damage. The main clinical difference between dumping syndrome due to diabetes mellitus and diabetic gastroparesis is that with gastroparesis the dominant symptom is vomiting, and with dumping syndrome the dominant symptom is diarrhea. Also, dumping syndrome can occur after viral illness. It's believed that viral gastrointestinal illness, damage duodenal mucosa, and cause impairment in the function of the duodenal receptors. This disrupts the duodenal feedback mechanisms, also called enterogastric reflexes. And without duodenal feedback mechanism, gastric emptying rate became uncontrollable. This causes acceleration in gastric emptying rate and leads to a dumping syndrome. To illustrate this, it's esophagus, stomach, and duodenum, and when chyme enters duodenum, it distends the duodenal wall, and this distension is sensed by duodenal mechanoreceptors that inhibit nervous vagus activity, and this inhibition results in decrease in gastric emptying rate. The same principle for duodenal mucosal nerve endings when they sense hyperacidic pH, of duodenal osmoreceptors when they sense hypersmolar chyme. And if the function of these receptors became impaired, there is no feedback mechanism through inhibition of nervous vagus activity, and there is nothing to decrease gastric emptying rate, and this uncontrollable income of chyme into duodenum leads to development of dumping syndrome. Idiopathic cause of dumping syndrome is related to impairment in function of vagal nerve. And because vagal nerve is involved in nearly all mechanisms of gastrointestinal tract regulation, this leads to rapid gastric emptying with development of dumping syndrome. The surgical etiology is related primarily to bariatric surgery. Now we can discuss what function each surgery disrupts that triggers development of dumping syndrome. Esophagectomy disrupts vagal innervation of the stomach. Because the trunks of nervous vagus are going down to stomach by esophagus wall. So with esophagectomy, stomach became denervated, and with vagal denervation, the reservoir, digestion, and gastric emptying functions became impaired. Nowadays, vagal sparing esophagectomy mostly performed, and this modified version preserved normal postoperative gastric emptying in 70% of patients. But nonetheless, 30% of patients in postoperative period have impaired gastric emptying function. Vagotomy is performed in patients with chronic duodenal ulcers. And with vagotomy, there is the same principle as with esophagectomy. Vagal denervation impairs all stomach functions, and that leads to a primatic gastric emptying with development of dumping syndrome. Surgeries as sleeve gastroectomy, vertical bonded gastroplasty, and Nissen fund application are all bariatric surgeries. And recall that the general principle in bariatric surgery that by reduction in gastric volume there is reduction of amount of food that provokes sense of satiety. So all these surgeries are restrictive surgeries that impair stomach reservoir function. And this impaired reservoir function causes rapid gastric emptying. It's important to know that Nissen fund application is the most commonly performed bariatric surgery in children. Ruined Y gastric bypass surgery is by far the most popular bariatric surgery. And the specific feature of this surgery is that there is a combination of restricted gastric volume to provoke sense of satiety with minimal quantity of food and also malabsorption because decrease in absorption stimulates weight loss even further. To explain the principles of this surgery, there is esophagus, stomach, duodenum, and jejunum. The first step is to reduce gastric volume. The gastric volume reduction is performed by formation of gastric punch. The volume of this newly formed gastric punch is equal to 10% of the initial stomach volume. So the first step is to reduce gastric volume by 90%. And the second step is to cause malabsorption. 
and duodenum is the site of the highest absorption capacity, so by cutting the small intestine 45 cm below the lower stomach outlet, the small intestine became divided between duodenum and jejunum, and that jejunum is connected to the gastric punch. By this connection, the 90% of stomach and duodenum become bypassed. So again, there is esophagus, gastric punch with stomach, duodenum, there is jejunum that is connected to gastric punch. And because the bypass part that include 90% of stomach and duodenum is the site of a production of a variety of digestive enzymes, the duodenum is reconnected to small intestine, so there will be passage of gastric juice. The name of this surgery is derived from the surgeon who first described it, Rue, and letter Y was given because newly formed anastomosis looks like letter Y. So with Rue and Y bypass surgery, we have reduced stomach volume by formation of gastric punch and malabsorption because with connection of jejunum to gastric punch, duodenum become bypassed. The problem is that this surgery totally disrupts physiological connection between stomach and small intestine. And this leads to rapid gastric emptying because recall that stomach duodenum, pilar tract and pancreas function as one integrated unit because they are closely related embryologically. And also there is impairment in gastric reservoir function due to reduced stomach volume. Also, reflex regulation of gastric emptying became disrupted because, for example, duodenal feedback mechanism without duodenum obviously cannot exist. These three factors mostly impair gastric emptying rate. And also because the absorption is impaired, the chyme became hypervoluminous, that caused additional stress for gastrointestinal tract. So all of these factors combined cause development of dumping syndrome. Gastrojejunostomy, as we already mentioned with Ruin Y gastric bypass surgery, bypassing duodenum cause malabsorption with formation of hypervoluminous chyme and also impaired duodenal feedback mechanism that leads to a rapid gastric emptying. Pyloroplasty disrupt function of pyloric sphincter and pyloractomy remove pyloric sphincter, so these two surgeries significantly affect gastric emptying function and gastric reservoir function. So basically all these surgeries cause rapid gastric emptying. The problem is that rapid gastric emptying leads to a formation of pathological chymes that have two major characteristics. First of all, pathological chyme is voluminous because food enters the odonum as one massive portion, and also hypersmolar, because food is incompletely digested and have very high carbohydrate concentration. And the transition of pathological hypersmolar voluminous chyme into the odonum is a central event that leads to development of dumping symptoms.